we're, we're sending the Youth Violence Strike Force, which is a, a proactive unit. We're a citywide unit that handles um, any youth violence. Uh, it's, it's our responsibility. It's expected of us to know who's beefing with who, um, who's hanging where, um, anything that, that might cause a, a rise in violence uh, among youths in the city of Boston. Uh, we're going to take a wrap to this area. It's gonna, there's been a lot of shootings up around here lately. Uh, we just had a meeting today about it, and um, we're going to see what's going on. Uh, a lot of shots fired back and forth, so uh, we're going to see what's going on in this area. Grab him! Take the K4 Devon Street, person with a gun, black t shirt, blue jeans. Drop that gun! He threw the gun! Stay there, Walsy! He threw the gun on Devon Street! Oh, hell towards it, the branch with male blue jeans. Black male blue jeans, black adidas. Don't move! Roll over now! Roll over! Roll over! Roll over! Give me your other hand! Give me your other hand! Okay, guys, just head in there. Where are you, sir? Put your hands behind your back! Luke Brunswick. Luke Brunswick. Stay there. Can I get up, please? I got no. asthma! Listen, I'm at Luke Brunswick. Hold on, please. Can we have you in the tent over there, please? K4. Come on, go ahead, please. Yeah, I'm not coming down blue. Grab this, please. Go back. The kid got off the bike and he started yeah. running. He pulled a gun out of the front of his pants. He had it in his hand. He threw it as he was running by here. This dog is a, a ballistics dog. So he can he sniff right ballistics. The cable was sniffing gunpowder. He's running down the sidewalk. Probably, as he got to the bushes, he threw it because it went over the bushes. So it's in right in here somewhere. Okay. I don't know if you want to. Yeah, and he threw it in there. He had a fairly good toss. He got it up and over, so the only one that's in there is Kevin with the dog. It's a thermal camera. It, um, anything that, that has heat greater than, um, greater than obviously what the ground is, you'll see it's like a gray screen and whatever is hot that's on there will, will light up and uh, it'll detect it and it'll be able to point out right where it was. You got over there? All right, they got it. They found it. They found it, Kevin. Good. Beautiful. Even though he threw the threw the gun, the heat from his body still still in the weapon will stay in there for quite some time. So you can pick the slightest amount of heat you pick up. You can see it right there, still glowing. Suspects in rooms, you up in an attic type of. I want to see where they are. They can't hide from this thing. The detective will start pictures from where it started up the street. Pictures will be taken of this, uh, the firearm he tossed. The detective who's taking the pictures will fume it for fingerprints. Um, it'll be logged into evidence and uh, our standard paperwork, booking, report. You understand the rights? Yeah. All right. Where were you going tonight? Going to the store. Okay. Up that way? Yeah. All right. You, you understand why you're sitting in the back of the car, correct? Can you tell me why? Do you know why? I was running from you? Yeah. Can you feel the rest? Huh? You feel the rest? What do you mean? What else? That's why you're sitting in this car? I mean, I'm asking you, what did I do? Do you not, you not know what you did? You threw a gun when you were running. I threw a gun? Yeah. 
You seen me throw a gun? Yes, I did. I didn't throw no gun. You didn't throw a gun? Okay. Okay, well, that's what you're under arrest for, okay? Yeah. You read your rights, you understand your rights, correct? No, okay. Know. You said that you seen me with a gun, right? I saw, yeah, I did. I didn't have no gun. Yeah, you, yeah, you did. You had one and you threw it. I didn't have no gun. Right, you, understand, you understand why I, I tackled you down the street, right? Because I was running for because you throw a gun. I didn't throw no gun. Okay, that's that's up for I'm debate. Right, right, right. Okay, I'm giving you. I'm, I want you to understand why you attack it. Okay, fair enough. No, no hard feelings. No hard feelings. Okay. I didn't say nothing about it. I'm all right, I'm just letting you know. No, I just want to clear it up with you. Okay. Yes, sir. You were running. All right. I saw a gun in hand. I saw you throw the gun. I continued running and I, I tackled you. Okay. That's all I wanted to let you know why I tackled you so you don't think. All right. A lot of times you'll see certain movements they make when they're riding the bike will uh, tell you that it's possible they have a firearm on them. Uh, numerous arrests we made where uh, one-handed riding, making adjustments while they're riding. Um, you know, different things to look for. He reached to the front of his pants, um, had an idea of what he might be doing, and then I, uh, I saw the firearm in his hand. Um, he held it at the front of his body as he was running. Uh, he turned back and looked over, um, realized we were right behind him, and tossed it up over the trees. I just knocked him down to the ground. I couldn't take any chances. Most important thing is going home safe. You know, most people uh, that come here, if they don't live here in Las Vegas, they think all the all of Vegas is a strip, but there's actually a day and night of Las Vegas. You know, you got the residential area that's uh, not on the strip. And if you go out in those areas, it's just regular neighborhood. Right now we're on our way to uh, 417 of family disturbance, which is inherently what is one of the most dangerous calls that any any cop will ever face because, you know, it's, the passions run so high in the family. We got a um, boyfriend, girlfriend. The girlfriend is uh, out right now trying to drive off with the boyfriend's truck and he's trying to stop her. So we're going to pull up here and uh, we got another unit out already and find out uh, what the situation is between these two. That's probably going to be our female half right in front of the unit up there. Seven, seven, four, five, uh, one DP Where is this the male half over here? Yeah, the male. I haven't talked to him yet. Okay, I'll go and get him. So what's uh, what's going on? She came up from California because we had an income tax check. Mm -hmm. We broke up. She put a domestic charge on me, which was a lie, whatever. So I told her, I said, Debbie, you know, I told you, I supported you for a year. We'll split the check. We did. She wanted my truck. And then she said, well, I want to go back to California. I said, well, bring my truck back. She goes, okay. So she came tonight. Her bags are right there, packed. Mm -hmm. She goes, well, let me stay with you one more night. I said, no, Debbie, it's over. We're done. We'll be friends. That's it. She goes, no, I'm taking your truck. I said, Debbie, if you take my truck, I'm going to call 911. Well, I called 911. I just want to take her to the bus stop. Now, I can tell you right now, in this situation, yeah. if she isn't willing to leave or you're not willing to leave, we're going to have to do something to rectify the situation because she's totally upset right now. She's willing to leave. Her suitcases are on the back of that truck. She's from California. Yeah. Does she have a bus ticket right now? I will buy her a bus ticket. Okay. Well, just hang out right okay. here. Let me talk to my partner for a second. Just hang out here. So, what's going on? I would never, ever hurt him. Okay. I can't believe that he would call the police on me. It really shocks me. Well, apparently you were taking his truck. Uh, apparently. He's wrong. He gave me that truck because he owes me so much money. Well, don't yell at and, me. I haven't done anything to if you. if you'll look at the paperwork on the truck, I'm on the okay, paperwork okay, on the okay, truck. Okay, why don't we calm down? Calm down. I'm on the paperwork on the okay, truck. Okay. So he's acting like I'm like this complete... I'll tell you what, for, do me a favor. Hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. I know it because I know he already told me I got a worn out or something. Okay. But I don't know what it's about. Okay. Well, don't, don't, don't keep on moving around, okay? Because we're being Thank nice right now. We're being nice. All right, but I don't know what it's about. All right, well, we'll find out. Thanks a lot, Jay. I'll tell you what, you're going down too then. Oh, yeah, you're going down too. Five years and then some. I'm going to, like, press charges on my 
Mind sentence, you did it to me and you know it. I didn't hurt you. Okay, nobody's to blame out here right now. If you have a if you have a warrant. No, he did, he hold told on, me. Hold on, for hold something on. I don't even know about. Okay, okay, okay. Don't start jumping around on me, okay? Thanks a lot, Jay. He's not the one to blame. No, he is, because I don't know nothing about it. I don't know. You don't know anything about, about this. I swear to God. I swear to God on what's my your, life. What's your warrant for? Um, he just told me. He told me just when I just got here. He can't give you a warrant. He told me I have a warrant out for my arrest. And just stop yelling at me. And I'm like, for what? I never even had a traffic ticket, barely. She's got about uh, nine thousand dollars in warrants. She's got one. Uh, what? 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 Uh, what, what, what? She's I got, got what? one for but trespass, and then she's got one for ba battery uh, DV, and then uh, harassment. Okay. And where's that at? All out of city. I'm gonna send him no, back whom? to his room with his truck. For whom? Ma'am. Just hang out. Oh, my okay, here's God. the deal. What I want you to do is drive your truck back over to where to you my are. Apartment. Okay. Use your little key card. Yes, sir. Go into your room. Yes, sir. Get in the covers. That's what I've been doing, sir. And wake up in the morning and start your day. Thank you. Okay, so we'll see you later. Thank you, sir. All righty. Uh, hold on, let me get your ID from my, okay. from my yeah. partner. Okay. You go you go on over there. And make sure you take good care of my stuff, Jay. All right, because I never did nothing to you. He you did, he, ma'am, ma'am, let me explain something. I'll tell you what, I would never hurt you. Hey, Debbie. What did I do? Zip it. You got his ID? I came here because I love you so much. I got warrants out for me. Can you tell me what they're for? Okay, yes, yes I'm going to tell you. Okay, okay you. here's the deal. You've got one big one out for battery domestic violence. Okay, you also got one for harassment. I'm going to go on and put you in the car, okay? He's like having a field day right about now. And we'll get all this stuff taken care of, so this, this mis and it will be straightened out. And this mistaken identity and stuff. I'm so unsure. I can't believe you would do this to me. When I came here just to be with him because I love. Have him. you ever been arrested for? Have you ever been arrested for battery domestic violence? Yeah, when he was doing it to me. Yeah, you've been arrested. We both have been, but they dismiss all charges. Yes. Who are you staying in California? My mom. I live with my mother. You, you live with your mother? How old are you? I'm 47. 47? But okay. I came here to get away from him. You came here to get away no, from him? No, I mean, I came there to get away from him. Okay, well, if it didn't work out the first time, why did you come back? I don't know. My mom wants to hit my ass. Your mom wants to beat you up, too? And everybody else, too. No, Debbie, you got a problem. Say, you got to just, like, get over him. And I'm like, I can't. I love him. I thought I'd really love him. And you see what this is doing to me? You know, Debbie. And he's the one that's beating me up. I'm not. Be I've never touched him. Never. Well, that's not why you're going to jail tonight. You've got a ton of warrants. I think the biggest misconception that people have about us is that we don't care. Um, I, I try to, when I talk to people, I, to let them know that I care about their well-being and their welfare. I want to see as many people that I deal with have a good life, just like I am, and that's basically my goal is to treat people with respect and help them have a better life. 2317. Show me how suspicious vehicle at uh, Harding and Clark. Edward. How you doing? Right. What you doing out here? I'm just walking. You're by yourself? No, I'm with who are you with? Montana. Who's Montana? Hi. Hi. What you doing over there? I was looking for my dog. Did you stash something? No. Saw you ripping something up over there, getting rid of it. No, you I were just sitting there initially, and then I saw you doing something with your hands. So, I, anything? No. Okay. What kind of dog you missing? My black shepherd. Okay. When's the last time you saw it? Just a little while ago. Okay. All right. Just... Still got the truck with the broken window, huh? Yeah. I just came down this way to see what's going on. Going on with what? My dog. Hey, get out of here now. Let's go. Step out here. Come on. I'm okay. Let's go. 2317, send me a code two. Sit down. Right there. She was all right. Sit down. You get up here and sit down, too. Get up here and sit down. 
I was just checking to see if she was okay. Sit. Okay. Are you you get out of vehicle. Did you see Jess? Why are you hiding? Well, because I don't want to get her in trouble and I don't want to be in trouble. On David. I just want to make sure she's all right. Yeah, uh, she person, went for a walk. I thought she was looking Copy for a Copy right dog. now. I'm okay. I got three detained. So why are you hiding? I mean, did your POs tell you to stay away from each other? So why are you hiding? You wanted again? PO. Are you wanted? No, I don't have a PO. Okay, you both went to jail long ago. Right. All right, and it was also... As I recall, it was for aggravated assault by one on the other, then it was battery by the other on the other, and all this other stuff, right? Is there any drugs in the car? No. Care we take a look? Go. Go ahead. Okay. Watch, you watch them? Sure. I haven't patted them at all. This lady over here. Just the be the best thing for me, okay? Somebody for our Appreciate it. Just relax. Copy, thanks. Marianne, why is this in your purse? I use it for fishing. I have a fishing jacket that All right. goes with. Why is this in the truck right I'm in the a, front? I'm a I've been working on the house and okay. I use my hammer a lot. Believe That's your favorite not. hammer. That's my favorite, favorite hammer, huh? Look at it, it's very well used. Okay, Marianne, stand up. She's got a pot. She's got a pot I got a pot. All right, put your pants behind your back. Okay. You have a $35,000 felony warrant. Did you know that? Okay. Hold her. Stand up. Got a no contact order between both of you. Oh, no. oh. we didn't. Okay. It's confirmed. Oh, come on. You got a no officer. contact order. Officer Mathis, you're lying. You have a no contact order with her. Neither one of you can violate well, I it. I wasn't Mon with her. I was separated from Mon her. Dana, she it's okay. You can't violate it. I did violate it. Dana, yeah, you did. You were within so many feet of her. Leave her alone. Okay. She didn't, as soon do, as they, anything. didn't do anything. She didn't officer do anything. Mathis, you know that. Turn around. She didn't do anything. Ah, Don't leave her. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. You wrong son of a bitch. 2317. Send me another code one. Please, officer. Leave her alone. Down there. Ow! Oh, God. Quit trying to run. You don't try to run. I'm not running. Yeah, you just try to pull I away. I'm knock it off. You're hurting me. Knock That's it why. Off. Knock it off. Why are you hurting me? Because you're fighting. Now knock it off. Please. I didn't fight Leave with you. Alone. That's why you're trying to get away. No, Sit still. What? Sit What's still. Oh, yeah, I put Ow. a pipe in your pocket. 2317, make it a code 2. 2315, copy. Upgrading to Clark and Hardy. That's not mine. Oh, yeah, I put it there. I carry it with me. Sit still. Why are you? Oh. That's why you tried to pull away to the left. No, I did not. You're hurting me. <sighs> We didn't do anything, officer. I'm not the one that's violating a no contact order. Every time, Dana, that we've dealt with you guys, something's going on. Yeah, uh, no one called. Well, I was looking for my dog. That, you know, since you guys caused this mess, I don't have my dog no more. All right. Have a seat. Let me explain something real quick. She's going to go for the paraphernalia, okay? So... You all know me. I've been telling you guys for three, four years to yeah. stay away from each other and break it off. We have. And it's, I don't know why you don't. But we have. You have and you haven't? No, but we have. All right. Well. Okay. Sit tight. Thanks. Dana. Yes. We calm down? Yes. All right. Now, this no contact order mm -hmm. is her to stay away from you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the only thing you're going to get booked in on is that pipe. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, talking to Mary Ann, she thought she wasn't, you weren't using. Right. Does she, is she correct there? She thought she was right. correct thinking that? Yeah. So what's going on? Well, actually, it's a friend that came by earlier. Why are you got? I just happened to end up. Did you smoke a little today? Yeah, I did. Okay, out of that right. pipe? Yeah. 
And that plastic baggie had some in it before? Yeah. Okay. So all you're going to go for is the paraphernalia, okay? So you can bond out tonight, all right? Okay? So you can bond out tonight. I guess what I like most about this job, the most rewarding thing for me is just kind of putting the worst of the worst in jail. Uh, I worked as a firefighter and rode out paramedic unit for a number of years before I was a police officer. And I saw a lot of crime and it used to frustrate me. I couldn't do anything about it. So that's always been the most rewarding thing for me is just being able to put bad people in jail. 44, can you clear me off that? That's I'm at 624, I'm almost arrived also. En route to a uh, burglary of a vehicle call at a uh, local shopping center. There's a uh, suspicious male in the parking lot that uh, someone had called in and said that he was going into a vehicle and then uh, hit something in the bushes. So uh, drive in the area and see if we can locate him and see if he broke into the car. Control 624, are you, uh, you still in line with the PR? And if so, can you uh, see where this guy's at? He's not in front of the liquor store. Take right along the landline and maybe a generic cell number. Okay, I got somebody flagging me down. I'll see if they have some info here. Hey, Dollar. That's in there? The, he's the, in my car. car. The guy that stole the man car with the, the orange shirt that has a cell phone. He's he's got to the, do it. He's got the guy over there. Okay. Control 624. I'll be, uh, 468 on. He's uh, running westbound from the uh, shopping center. I'll be in foot pursuit. Control 624, get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! What did I do? What did I do? Put your hands behind your back! Put your hands behind your back! Okay, what did I do? What did I do? What do I do? Don't put your hands hands when I'm coming up on you. Charlie 22, 624, uh, lock up my car for me. You got it. And make sure you don't have any weapons on you. I don't. Why'd you run? I don't even do drugs. Okay, on your butt. I it's can't, under... I can't. You're, you're okay. killing my, you're killing it's my it's on your butt. You're killing my wrist. All right, so listen, count of three. I'm gonna roll you this way and you're gonna stand up. Okay. Ready? Yeah. One, One, two, two three. Okay. Let's do it. Uh, no, uh, Come through that too. Cans. Is that Four all? Four cans, that's yeah. it. All right. I'm going down to car. Commerce and cash my cans in. That's all I was doing. Okay. There's some ladies over there that said that you were breaking into their car. Oh. So why don't you tell me what happened then? I was looking. I'm sorry, I didn't break. Okay, they said that you went into the car. Okay, you were looking to break into the car? No, I was looking. I was walking, going up Savers, and that's all it was. Did you look inside the car? Huh? Yeah, I looked, but I didn't go. Okay, what what were you looking at? Charlie 20, go ahead. A car full of, and that's all it was. Okay, were you looking to steal something from in there? No, well, no, I can't go there. Let me take these off you. I mean, if there was something, were you looking to steal something? I can't say it, sir. Okay. So why would you be looking in someone's car? I mean, was there any reason for that? No, there was no reason. Okay, well, why did you run? Huh? Why did you run from me? We've seen 15 cops running up. I'll run. Did you run because you were going into that car? No, I didn't, I didn't want to go to jail. No? I didn't want to go to jail. That's what would mind. you go to jail for if you hadn't done anything? Well, you know what I was well, no. If you haven't done anything wrong, you just don't go to jail. Oh, I'm a work officer. All right. Did you see why you put the police service in it? What'd she, uh, what'd she say? Uh, what I'm saying is he reached in through a crack in the window. It's about two inches. Reached his arm in there and pulled out three cartons of cigarettes. And the car was locked. And uh, he thought he put them in the bushes. The only thing in the bushes is a bunch of trash over there. I had them both on statements. And uh, unless he has the cigarettes on them, they're not... Okay. What, he had that big. Uh, he had that. He has that big uh, bag right there. Okay. So we'll check in there. He said that's all he's got is cans in there, but he okay, could well, put the cigarettes in there. He, in the detail, it said that he had stuck something inside of that bag with cans. Okay. So we can check in. Information on four seven B about a power tower. Can we clear? Oh, he's under arrest right now, anyways. Okay. So.
Sure enough. Uh, there they are. Okay, good. All right. We'll be under arrest for auto burglary. All right. I'm just going to put these on the hood. I'm going to read them on a statement. Okay. Sir, you're under arrest now for auto burglary. Why? Because you broke into that car and took those out of there. Ma'am, uh, I, I know that you uh, you probably explained this a bunch of times, but if you, if you could just tell me again real quick what, what you saw happen uh, with this guy and up until uh, I basically I arrived. Okay. When I came out of the um, thrift store, this gentleman shouted at me, was that your car? And I said, yes. And he said, um, some guy who looked like he was homeless took some items out of the car. And, and he said, I've called 911. I said, great, you know. So he said, get away from your car in case he comes back. So I did, and I waited until you got here. So did you see him go into the car multiple times? Twice. Twice? Yeah. Okay, how many, like the first time, how many cartons uh, of cigarettes did he take out? He took one each time, okay. as far as I can tell. All right, and then he, w was, he went to go hide them after he, he took each one? Yeah. Okay. All right, well, thank you. You did, you did a great job. Right. We wouldn't have caught him without you. The God works in mysterious ways, yeah. doesn't he? Thank okay. you. All right, thank you. Okay, just stand right here for a second. You're a pretty big, pretty big guy, man. What'd you used to do for a living? Here, face the car. A state wrestler. A state wrestler? Well, you're built. Down. You're built like a wrestler. Okay, go ahead and have a seat in here. I'm, I'm glad to have a seat in your car. All right. Watch your head, okay? I got a hit. I can watch it. All right. Play the game. I'll do it. Got him. Anytime you can uh, catch a felony suspect, it's it's always good. Who knows how many other auto burglaries he did? Chances are he's done a few and just wasn't so lucky on this one. Boise's got the feel of a big city, but it also has that small town mentality. Kind of, uh, you know, we're still still growing. We're trying to keep it nice and safe for our citizens. It's still working out pretty good. And, uh, you know, it's kind of a hidden gem. We sometimes kind of like to keep it that way, but uh, yeah, I think everybody's finding out about it. We're going to a battery just occurred at VMP Park, reference to unconscious it. subject. We're not sure exactly what happened right now at this time. This is a party. I know where the suspect is at this time. Copy. Was he in the parking lot? Negative, they're in the park on the grass, I believe. Okay, we're, this is going to be the transients right here. So we'll jump out here and go over here and check really fast. Start. Everybody sit down. Sit down. Everybody sit down. You too, sit down. Sit down. Yeah, code three. Have them come code three. Dispatch two eight five six. Are they code three? Yeah. Okay. Hey man, what's your name? What's your two name? Two dogs. Two dogs. What happened tonight? What happened? All kinds of. Well, why? Tell me who hit you, man. You're you you're hurt bad. Okay. Tell me who hit you. Who hit you? Hey, two dogs. Who hit you? This one young punk. Which one? Tomorrow. Which one, the guy in the white shirt or the guy in the blue shirt? No, he took off in his red car. Over there. He had a red car? What's his last name? I have no idea. You have no idea? Let me ask you this, do you want to press charges against him? No. Huh? Okay. Well, right now, it's neither here nor there because it's a felony, okay? Was, were, were all these other guys here present when this happened? Mm-hmm. What did he hit you with? It's like a soft. Yeah. Man, I don't yeah. think that could have done that. Yeah. Unless it hit him and he fell yeah. against the table or something. Do you remember? What if he grabbed it backwards and swung it the other way? Is it heavier down here? Yeah, a little bit. What if he grabbed it from the side? Yeah, he could have. He said this. Do you think that back could do that? For Maine or Trudeau or something like that? Oh, yeah. Really? Because it looks yeah. like he's done it's it a here. couple of times. I mean, hey Jones, one, yeah. two, three, four, five. I bet he was five. holding it right here. This okay. is all clean. Because all the blood's right here. Did you guys see how the fight started? No. Oh, he picked on the dog. We call him the dog. What, what do you mean he picked on him? He hit me, bitch. He hit me, son of a bitch. Why did he say that? Because well, he wanted to get his he ass had a chip on his shoulder yeah. for some reason. I don't know. Okay. He yanked the dog. He and then, the dog. And then what happened? And then he was chasing two dogs. Did Leroy? Did Leroy hit him then, hey. or what? 
No, huh? He, no, they were, he was chasing you right around the, around the Chasing around the table? Right yeah. Right okay. Here, this bike. And, and later I got a bad leg, he can barely yeah. walk. What we had right here was a uh, felony battery. Battered him pretty severely. His entire face is uh, swelled shut. He can't open his eyes or anything like that. He's pretty much going in and out of consciousness, but we know who the suspect is, so we believe he lives right over here in the area just off of the park. And uh, we got several officers in the area. We're going to see if we can go make contact with him. Leroy should be fine. He's been transported to the hospital at this time. So we're going to go see if we can find him. The suspect. Yeah, we just got finished uh, with Two Dogs Battery down at the uh, Veterans Memorial Park. We were looking for the subject, and uh, we found out that one of our bench units uh, actually stopped the subject apparently on a traffic stop. And... Uh, he admitted that he was uh, beating two dogs, apparently tried to kill him is what he said. So we're going to go up there and make contact with him right now. Stay where you're at. I didn't do I didn't drive no car. Okay. I didn't Boys, drive nothing. Boys, 2317, you downgrade any other units. Okay. You got like a story on this? Yeah. Okay. What the deal is, is this, this girl whose house is, is a semi-sister. He had no parents. Okay. So she's known him for years and real good friends. Well, she says, yeah, he came up to her house and said, hey, I, I think I just killed two dogs. <laughs> she, he goes, I beat him up in the park and I pretty much left him for dead. Tomorrow, I'm going to take some pictures of your hands here, okay? For what reason, sir? Because you got all kinds of problems with it. Okay, that's that's no light job. Can you flex your fingers? You gotta you gotta double lock that. Actually. Come on, man. You might you might stuff. Come on, man. Loosen it up a little bit, please. Tomorrow. You're, you're saying that the swelling on your hands are old? <laughs> They're not even swelling, sir. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, man, by the look of two dogs' face. I did not touch two dogs. He, okay, he's the one that hit me first, sir. I okay. pushed him away, and Darla. That's what we need. That's what you need to talk to. That's what you need to talk to the detectives care. about. No, we didn't say that, okay? You guys don't give a damn. All right, darling, tell us about Hey, that. don't do that, man. Don't do that. You do that, if I'm going to make into luggage, man. Do go, not do that. Don't do that. I'll tell you your face. Me. No, I don't hate you. Guys, you. If I hated you, I'd let anybody. you keep banging your head on the window, wouldn't I? I don't hate you. I'm just doing my job. Nobody hates you, Tom. Are you going to do that? Was he arrested? No, he's not. No, he's in the hospital, buddy. I did not hit him now. Why? I don't know. I did not. I didn't see him. But if you keep banging yourself, I'm going to tie you up. I don't want to do that. But you've been fair warned. <laughs> Are you going to do that again? We need to have somebody follow. Huh? <laughs> Are you going to do that again? <laughs> you tell me yes or no. Right Man, now. you're not my friend. Man. You're not Are my you going to bang your head? Okay, I'm not your friend. You drive that Put your feet all the way in here. In there, I did not do anything, sir. They said he left either on foot or in a red car, and as you can see, this is a red car, so... What I did is I went and talked to somebody he's close to. They, they're saying, well, we, we need to get you some help when you get you some help, and he says, there's no more help for me. I, I, I killed two dogs. I left them for dead. Okay. Well, at least we have them in custody now, so... Yep. I've been uh, coming out here since 1998. I'm originally from Tennessee, just right outside of uh, Nashville. Being here in Las Vegas, I mean, there's you can pretty much do about anything I like to go and hike out at Red Rock, Mount Charleston, and like to go and shoot as much as possible. Was a competitive shooter there for a while in Tennessee and brought it with me out here as well. Our speed should be by 7-11 by now. Okay. Going to a domestic call right now. Uh, females claiming that the male tried to strangle her somehow, uh, but he's claiming, he called in as well, he's claiming that uh, she cut him or stabbed him with some type of knife, but she's denying any knife whatsoever, so we'll get there and see what we can do. He was trying to push me out the door. This was about a half an hour ago. I sat on that step. I have a witness that I was sitting on that step when he went inside. Wherever he's bleeding, he wasn't bleeding when he went in. He was bleeding when he came out, but I was sitting right there. I did not stab him. Actually, about 
Let's see, in March 30th of this year, I was a victim of a stabbing due to domestic violence. Have either one of you been arrested for domestic violence before? I have not. I don't know about you. How long have you two been together? About two and a half months. If you're going to have a seat in this chair right here, right? As you can see. So you're from Oregon, I guess? Yeah, I'm from okay. Oregon. How long have you been here in Nevada? I've been here in Nevada 90 days. 90 days, so three yeah. months? Yeah. This Where'd you meet her at? I met her at the bar. She was living in the shelter. Okay. And uh, I offered her a place to live. Right. Because she was living in the shelter. Mm hmm And, uh, you know, we've been kind of dating off and on ever since. Tonight we came home. From the bar because I got been, paid tonight. Yeah, you've been drinking. I've been, so. I've been up since three o'clock this morning, partner, working every day. I worked sixty hours a week. I got up. I took her. I took her out to the bar. I said, "Come on." The one up here in front of the uh, day or day, not the, no, no, the holiday uh, that one. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we came back here. I paid for the cab to come back here, mm -hmm. and she started going off on me. How long has she been staying here with you? On me, there's a wet spot on the bed there where she threw water on me, mm -hmm. got pissed off at me, mm -hmm. and then grabbed that knife right over there on the counter mm -hmm. and said she was going to stab me. I said, "Get back! Get back! Get out of the house!" All right? You know, I paid the rent here. So what was the argument actually over? You know what? To tell you the truth, here. Honestly, the argument was over that I wouldn't make love to her enough. Enough? Enough. She wasn't too happy and with then, yeah, she wasn't your happy effort with or ability. That. Yeah, whatever. Okay. I said, well, if you ain't happy, just go someplace else. So the argument just started over that, yeah. and then she just and went to she, cutting on you. She threw water on me right. first, and then I said, well, get the out. My bed's wet right over there. Pull them covers down. You can see where the bed's wet. Where's the knife? That the knife is right on the there. Counter. It's right over there on the counter. Let me mm -hmm. see your one. See? It's an outside slap. Stand up, put your hands behind your back. All right. Put your palms together. Spread okay. your legs. Spread your legs. Okay. Get your clothes down. All right. Spread your legs. All right. Put your palms together. Okay. I got it. You're under arrest for domestic violence. Okay. Okay. And why? Is she no, under arrest? We'll discuss that later. Okay. I want the knife, too. And which, I want her which key, arrest. Hey, which key goes to here? The, the blue one? one? No, this one right here. That one? Okay. Yeah. Both here. And I want her arrested for well, attempted violence too. Okay? One step at a time. One, okay? it's, it's not okay for well, we have me to get arrested. Let's take care of one That's A. Then what we'll I'm take saying. Care of one okay. B. Okay. okay. Are you all right I'm, with that? I'm okay with There's that. There's only two of us. So we as have long to take as we both get arrested, I'm fine with That's that. Right, okay. Thank you. As long as we both get arrested. Okay, I'm fine. you got it. I've got your ID. I'll give you your wallet back. We'll get your I got wallet. wallet. I'll get it for you. Go and have a seat. Okay. Go and have a seat. You got my bank card. Put your left. Got what did she say? What happened? Well, they went up to the stateside and got drunk, came back, uh, start bitching at each other for no reason, and it escalated. And he, uh, before they got in the apartment, he grabbed her by the throat and shoved her against the stairwell over there. The manager lives in 118. He saw it. He was sitting over there, saw it. So what did you see that happened between these two people? Well, what happened behind the doors, I didn't see. All I can say is what I saw. Um, I did, like I said, like I told the officer earlier. I didn't see any uh, markings in the beginning mm -hmm. until like maybe after the second or third phone call when she called y'all's dispatch. Okay, so you're saying that she was outside the whole entire time? Correct. And then he comes after, out with marks on his arm? After the point when we, when me and the manager walked down here and when he put his hands on it, there was no markings. So after he put his hands around her neck in like a stranglehold and shoved her out, she was outside for the rest of the time and he was inside the apartment? That is correct. Okay. Okay. Good deal. Appreciate it, bud. Not a problem, sir. Came home, everything was fine had some really good sex, and then all of a sudden we're fighting. I don't know why. Close your eyes and just tilt your head back. No, no, this was like a half an hour before you guys okay. got here. I don't think he was trying to hurt me. I really think he was just trying to get me to leave. But here's my thing why I should not leave. I haven't done anything. Does he have to go to jail? Yeah, actually he has to. By state law, he has to. Can I bail him out? Uh, in 12 hours, yeah. He has to sit for a mandatory 12 hours. So, that's that's by state rules. So. Um. Just do me a favor. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk to him here shortly. He yeah, I'll, I'll talk to him. If he wants to be bailed out, I need his wallet. Okay. I'm not going to take his money. I just want to know. I didn't explain to you. I believe Sarge told you, but you're being placed in arrest for domestic, yeah, domestic battery. battery. I okay. Heard that. What I want to know is how come she can put charges against me for having whatever accusing she's saying, but yet I've got physical evidence here and I can't have her arrested. That's what I want to know. Here's the, here's the thing. There's no witnesses as far as whatever battery occurred to you. But there's, there's witnesses no that the battery. knife that you're saying that it occurred with mm -hmm. that's sitting in there on the counter. I mean, clean. 
like plain. Yeah, I mean, if you wiped it off. I mean, if you'd been cut with something, there'd be something somewhere. That's what I'm What did saying. she wipe it off with? She wiped it off. What did she wipe it with off that, with? With that horse rag in there. Okay. Well, but you don't want, want her to arrest her. That's you don't, okay. You don't want her to have your wallet or your keys no, or anything. I don't want her to have okay. Nothing. Good deal. All right. Well, I'll be transporting this one to city jail. All right. It's a good job. We do have a lot of tourists in the city, which creates different situations for us downtown. In the Youth Final Strike Force, we identify people that are involved in gang activity and are catalysts for the most violent crime in the city. We try to identify the kids that are most active in the shootings, the stabbings, and the violent crime in the city, and we do many different tactics to try to those, take those kids off the street. All right, on that note, this particular area over here, we had a, we had a cop get shot before, and um, we got different, different gang members coming down trying to claim the territory. This area over here is pretty hot, so we're, we're probably gonna find some over here. That's that's exactly why we're here over here today, because we know we're gonna find something up here. Look who's right there, two. Yep. There he goes. Right here. Well, I can. Right there, right there. Right, get him. Come here. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Huh? Let me see. Man, I swear to God. Turn around. I swear to God, I ain't got nothing. I want you to put your hands behind your back for me right now, all right? Put your hands behind your back. I swear to God, if you ain't got if you ain't, Give me the other hand. If you ain't got nothing on you, man, you'd be free to go. Who got it? I ain't got it. That dude was asking me to buy nothing. He told me to take down there. Yeah, buy nothing, man. I'm totally clean. I ain't did nothing wrong, man. Why, why'd you run, then? You didn't run? Oh, you did run. What, what I did, though. Did you run for the police when you saw I was coming? We, we have two pairs of pants on? No, yeah, I got one pair of pants. Where's that knife, then? What knife? Is this a knife in here? Got some product. We got something here. What do we got here? What's this? What is it? I don't know what it is. You don't know what it is? No, I have no idea what it is. Oh. Oh, it's not. Oh, okay. Back up now. Put aluminum foil. Yeah. Alright. Move here. You can have a seat right here. So, what so how much was you looking to buy off him? Where do you have it at? Where did he put it? I don't know. He just took off. You better start speaking, man, because I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I will I will lock you up for having just drug paraphernalia on you. Dude, I don't know where he had it hidden. He just took off when he saw you. How many did he have on him? Two. He had two bumps on him? We're talking about crack, right? Yeah. Like they just bit it. That's what he did. Bit it and swallowed it? Is that what you did? No. No, that ain't from me, man. All right. Did he drop anything? Nah, there was a, there was a bag there that was half bitten off. That was bitten off. Gonna swallow it? Yeah. He said he, he tried to sell him a few bumps back there in the alley. Where did he get it from? No, he was. I know, but what did he get? No, he didn't say. He said he just had it in his hand. I want to take a quick look. Wanna, you want to run this for me? Yeah. They were in the middle of a drug transaction when he rolled up on him. Yep. Um, the guy all in black was going to serve up the uh, the white guy. They saw us. They took off running. The white guy saying the uh, the other gentleman had a bunch of crack cocaine in his hand. So I'm just trying to see if he threw it somewhere. Very hard to find. I think they're right here. Found it. Crack cocaine. Two uh, two rocks right now. I'm trying to sell this crack to the uh, the white gentleman over there. Joe. Let me tell you something. I don't take nothing personal, man. And I don't knock a man for, for doing what he gotta do. You know what I'm saying? I don't knock a man for doing what he gotta do. But I don't like being lying to. I ain't lying you know what I'm to saying? You. I'm just letting you know, man. Go on, dude. Got him? Yeah. Give right. me the other hand. What's that? you in a sec, okay? This is fraud safety, man. Wanna make sure you ain't running, because you already ran once. And we ain't trying to chase you again. 
what I'm saying, but I ain't had nothing, no man. That's okay, man. We're not, we're not, we're not a judge. You can explain that to the judge. The judge, will, you know, will let you know. When was the last time he was locked? He just got out of jail. He just did for what? Just up there for uh, selling battery. You have been arrested for selling crack before? Nope. Because you know what we're gonna know. Yeah, you know we know everything. But I don't sell crack. Did you ever get arrested for selling crack before? Yeah, I, I have yeah. fake drugs. Okay. But I don't sell crack though. The drugs you got today, were those fake? I ain't had no drugs. Seriously, I didn't. When you meet him? I was just walking down here, he just met me at the alleyway. Met you in the alleyway? Did you approach no, no, you? Approach walking you? Here. He approached me. What do you say, you looking? He says, come here. Yeah. And then I went down with him down the alleyway. Yeah. And he said he got a couple of 40. He wants to get rid of him. A couple me. of 40s? I told him I didn't want him. They weren't going to And it's that guy right there, right? In the back yeah. seat? Where did he get it from? He had him in the whole time yeah, and get him out of his mouth? I don't know where he got him. So when you saw us come down the street, he just told you to take off? He just took off, thanks. He walked ahead of me and I took off up the alleyway. You're going to jail for this, okay? For what? For possession of crack cocaine with intent to distribute. Possession of cocaine? Yeah. I know, it's, it's crazy, isn't well, it? How, how are you going to tell me possession of cocaine? Because the statement's on scene. I, I can't. I can't. Well, tell the him? judge tomorrow. Don't talk to me. Remain silent. Mm -hmm. Talk to the judge, okay? Try right, give me one second. You understand why I grabbed you in the corner over here, right? The way I did? Yeah. Because I thought that you had something in your mouth, and I didn't know what you had in your mouth. And often they, you put it in there to swallow it up. So I wasn't sure if you had it or you didn't. So I was just making sure that you didn't. All right? No hot feelings? All right, man, get up and take those cuffs off you, all right? Consider this a break for you, man. You got is basically people concerned with the community. You know, policing, you don't solve your own crimes. Your concerned citizens, they're the first on scene. They're the ones that give us the information that brings us to solving crimes. Well, I think after September 11th, people actually realize that we're not out here just to shake people down, give people a hard time. So I think they get more involved with helping the police departments. Let's get another van that's uh, called reported that they were throwing beer bottles from their car to their car towards uh, Tango, which is another town. Try to stop it before it uh, gets out of our town. Behind Brunswick. He just the left with the All right. All right, Carl Evans off with that vehicle behind Brunswick. Hey, guys, come here. Get over there by the van. Eleven alone, why don't you slide me in on the unit, please? Chance on the car. Fight six is on the way. Both of you. Chance on the car right now. You guys got anything bad on you? Go ahead. Do you guys have a problem with somebody in traffic? No. You, you didn't? No. No, you think I didn't see it for no reason? Why don't you tell me what happened? No probation? Yes, sir. For what? Uh, unauthorized use of a motor vehicle, sir. Really? Yes, sir. So why don't you tell me what happened? What happened, sir? Who threw the bottle? No idea, sir. You have no idea. Anything in this car I'm going to find before I rip through it? There's a broken piece up above the driver's seat. A broken piece of what? A bowl. Well, no, it's a bowl, but it's, it's broken up top. A bowl? Yes. Right. Is there any, uh, any drugs in the car? No, there is not. Sir. No, sir. Not to my knowledge, and there shouldn't be. Who's, is it your van? It's my van, yes, sir. Right. So come here a minute. So what happened? We're driving down the street. These people fucked us off. We took a turn. They started following us. Okay. What what else happened? Nothing else? No. All right. Um, so no other witnesses we have over there are not going to tell us a different story? I'm just giving you a chance to tell your story right now. So what happened? That's it, sir. Who threw the bottle? Basically, what it comes down to Who threw the bottle out of the car? I did not throw the bottle, sir. You did, you did not personally throw the bottle, no, so who threw it? I'm not sure. You're not sure? So you just had a confrontation with them, and they supposedly flipped you off, so someone in your vehicle decided to throw a bottle out of their car? 
did so. So basically, you're in, in a non-about way, you're telling me that your, your passenger did it. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Caught just be seven, straight up with six. me. I mean, seriously, you already caught. We yes, already sir. got you. We're not here. Go we ahead. didn't come here out of nowhere. We just didn't get here for no reason. Yes, obviously, obviously, we got here because something happened. Right. Okay? So okay. How, how long have you known him? Three years. Three years? Good buddy of yours? You're saying yes, you just don't want to rat him out, basically? Yes, sir. All right. Why don't you just go back over there? I'm going to see if he has a different story. Running so. in the intersection and are underwear. Come here. Okay, you threw the bottle. Why did you throw the bottle? Because I'm stupid, sir. I don't know. Call the cat three. All right, just because someone flipped you off? Yes, sir. All right. So what do you what do you think? What do you think could have happened if you hooked that bottle and it did crash? I didn't give me a lot more situation. It doesn't matter, you threw the bottle. The bottom minus. Go back over there. Right. I'm gonna go talk to them and then get them. Oh, yeah. How you doing? Why don't you, you guys want to get out of your car for a minute? Where did that where'd the bottle hit your car? In the back somewhere. In the back? Any any damage? Uh probably just scratches. That's about right. it. Either here or here, I'm not quite okay. sure. Yeah. All right, so what, what exact, tell me exactly what happened. I was coming down Broadway Street, just yep. driving. Okay. Yeah, you know, probably 30, because it's, you know, you know, can't come down that fast. He come flying up behind me, and he's screaming out the window, you Which one, which one was screaming? The driver. You But he's going like this now, with his hands. And I said to my husband, oh, my God. I said, look at this guy. Then he was like inches from my car, okay. blowing horn, screaming. The other guy's hanging out like the window, up. swearing at us. Right. He pulled away, and when he did, all of a sudden, he went, you can see the beer bottle. He did an underhanded. He threw, he threw the, beer the passenger bottle. wearing a red T-shirt. Really threw and it right at us. Car, and then I hear it you know, crash all over the street. At what point did he come up beside you or try passing you? At the stop sign. The stop sign. At Broadway and Walker? No. Yeah. And then he went around you and cut you, basically well, ran. He did he run you off the road? What am I doing? Did he almost run you off the road when he, when he passed you? He tried to, I would okay. say. Yeah. All right, that's good enough. Why don't you guys sit right over here? I'm going to come back, get your names. And I need your names, all, all your information. Did you find them all? Yeah, we got them over here. I want to hear a story about throwing the ball. What, what happened? Sorry, I told you I threw it. Okay, so what, what, where did it happen? At? I don't know the street name, sir. I honestly don't. So after you got um, ran off the, after you guys were driving, going nuts, at what point did you decide you were going to throw the ball? We were at an intersection. I believe it was a stop sign, sir. Okay. I didn't right. throw it. To, I obviously didn't throw it to hit him because it okay. went way away. All right. And I, I, I was just being. A I guess, sir. I, I wasn't going out to hurt their car in any means. Oh, yeah. You know, it, we were right behind him, sir. If I, I had a bottle, I could have hit him. I want. You know, right, sir. Why don't you turn around for me? Yes, sir. All right. You know you're going to jail, right? Yeah. He's good to go to, Bill. He's good to go to. You sit right there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I asked for a hotel. Uh, Salt by means. We can motor vehicle. What was that? Salt by means. Salt by means. You can read it at the bottom report. I'll explain it to you later. Right. All right. Here's where we're going. Both got arrested. Okay. Um, the driver is obviously going to be charged with assault by means, a dangerous weapon, which is a motor vehicle after he ran you off the road. Uh, as far as him throwing a bottle at you, we're just going to treat it as a wanton destruction of property. Okay. Did did it's an arrestable offense. Yeah. Um, he did damage your vehicle, so I'm going to make a note whether it's a small chip or not. And then I just need all your information, both your information, and then I can let you guys be on your way and okay. we'll take it from there. This is a 28-year-old male from Pasadena. He's got Jason. Um, here's his uh, photo online. It's not a great photo, but uh, that's his photo. Um, we've had three or four conversations with him where he's uh, uh, made some uh, direct comments about... Uh, stuff he wants to do. He's also got a MySpace uh, profile. He asks, is it okay I'm 28? And she says, yeah, is it okay I'm 13? And he says, I'm fine with it. Um, Matt's going to go over the uh, operation side of it. This is the library. Here's the, uh, the stadium so you can kind of orient yourself. We're going to use the, the, the bench that's just south of the uh, south perimeter of the parking lot there. Stephanie, you're just going to kind of go over to this little uh, bench there and what we're gonna have you do is just face away from lot that way um, he won't you know he won't be able to see that you're not a 13 year old girl obviously from the from the um, the street okay um, that's all I really have unless anybody has any questions we'll go ahead and set up so that conversation we're in here for sure right the, the 
turned off by the night happened at a different location. Hello? Hey, it's Gable. Please let me make sure we got you getting the wire. Oh, okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, it's perfect. It's oh, okay. She's in place over there sitting on the bench. We have our arrest team uh, parked nearby. Hopefully this guy goes rolling in and uh, we scoop him up. Hey, you guys, he's here, I think. He's, hey, uh, really, he's up. Uh, pulling up right now. All right. He's getting out right now and he's walking towards you. Yeah, it looks like him. We got him in a... At 10-4, I got him uh, blue jeans, white shirt, uh, Asian male. Looks like it's spooked him right now. He's walking back. He's just, he just sitting around looking. Hey, uh, Claire, you get back in the car. I'm just going to put it behind him, okay? Claire's getting in the car right now. You guys go ahead and take him down. Uh, we're going to get that. Okay, uh, looks like they just contacted him. We're up on this, uh... Okay, we're gonna roll up on this guy. Uh, hopefully, we don't run over here. Anybody here in the mid meantime? You any weapons on you? No. What are you here for, sir? Huh? What are you here for? I'm just uh, driving around. Okay. For what? Nothing. You have an inter email address? Henry. Yeah. What is it? J. C. B. M. C. What else? J. Gmail.com. What else? He's from Arcadia. You didn't, you didn't come here to meet a 13-year-old girl? I never do that. Oh, oh, be honest with me. Yes, I'll be honest with you. Okay. Go ahead with the Why do you think we just pulled up here to talk to you? Go ahead, Henry. Quaint Jordan. Okay. He's got the map, got the map showing directions to here. Good. Do you recognize this fellow here? Yeah. Who is that? Looks like me. It is you. Okay, why don't you go and step out of the car? Where'd you come over here to, where'd you come over here to meet? Matt. Step out of the car for me. Who'd you come over here to see? Huh? Who'd you come over here to see? Just driving around. Here. You're just driving okay, around? I'm asking you, who'd you, why'd you drive all the way out to Palm Springs from Arcadia for? That's the question. You don't know? You just decided to, out of the blue, drive out to Palm Springs today and come over here to the park. Sounds kind of fishy to me, man. Yeah, we showed him that. Oh, sure. Sit down, relax. Like sit, sit, sit. I got it, it's right here. You see it? You don't think that's you? It looks like him. That is you, right? That's definitely him. He even says it looks like him. I don't know if you noticed though, but when you were sitting there looking the other way, this guy comes in and they park directly in front and he's looking through. When he came in, he was looking all over the place. And as soon as he gets out, you know, he gets out of the car real quick and starts walking towards you. If I got within, I'm saying at least 15 feet of you. Then he's, he's doing this, I'm like looking around. And all of a sudden, I don't know if he just realized you weren't the person or whatever, then he started walking back. Then he's doing the old felony stretch, you know, doing this stuff, looking around. Oh. And then uh, I think he got spooked, maybe he got in his car and he was ready to leave. So we got, you know, got behind him and got him. But he did a good job. Picture lines up on this guy. Uh, Hello. I knew he was coming from the LA area. Here he is, he's got directions Hello. printed Hello. up. Um, Hello. South Sunrise, right where we told him our 13 year old lived. Um, it's just not a coincidence. It's going to be kind of a good thing in court. Um, yeah, he's got a uh, child seat back here that he's got all covered up with a jacket. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he's already been transported over to the jail. This guy's, uh, he's really eager to talk. Yeah. Okay, yep. good. Let's head over there right now then. Where, where, do you think this, where do you think this is coming from? I mean, uh, do you have attractions to children, you think? No? Well, what do you think it was to deal with this girl? Honestly, yeah. Okay, we got uh, Officer Beard right now talking to uh, this suspect right now. Um, Officer Beard's pretty good at uh, getting the talk. Um, this guy's been Mirandized. He's basically, uh, you know, signed it. And he's more or less telling him exactly what happened, you know, what, was, what he was going to do. He admits that uh, he was probably going to have sex with her. All right, so you brought those comments and the possibility that you might. Yeah, okay. It's just all possibility, but okay. again, you know, I'm because I've never done this before. Sure. Not, not even with anybody. Right. Uh, and so the possibility is there. Sure. Yeah. Well, you look good. Yeah. 
gave us consent, we're, uh, we're going to be over at his place. Okay. Okay. Is that the consent form there? Yep. We're good. Yeah, he told you everything. Yep. We'll uh, charge him with uh, attempted ludac with a child. Okay. 